Hello, everybody. Again, welcome back to the Dice Cult for episode 96 of On the Backs of Gods. I'm your DM, Jillian. We have our players today, Kyle Mack and the ghosts of Josh and Christo. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go for it. We're going to do my phone just started vibrating a thousand times. Um, I'm going to go ahead and jump into a recap. Um, last session, you had a meeting with Jericho, the man who works for Silas Steele. Silas Steele is the man that you stole some artifacts from, destroyed the foundation of his home and pissed on his carpet, and then got half of your faces seen by the guards. Um, so it seems you were findable. Um, he gives you the option of either paying off the 100,000 gold that is due for the items and damage. Um, kind of an exorbitant amount, especially for the average person. Um, but maybe doable for some some plucky adventurers, and gives you the new option of traveling out to a ruin in the middle of the ocean and collecting items there worth the amount that was lost. And then clean slate, no authorities involved. Um, and after some deliberation, you all agree on it, that you will do this. You will do this, you say. Um, during we this didn't time admit to any guilt. We didn't we'll admit to this. anything. By golly, yes, that was us. However, fluids on the floor. Who? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, those can be fabricated, probably. But guilty probably. or not guilty, um, the answer is guilty. Uh, but in the eyes of others, guilty or not. Um, you take this time to gather some items and go looking for information about Norrell's missing contact who had been working for the guard, um, also known as Bosch, uh, by the party. And during this time, they find out that um, Norrell, who hadn't seen her contact or heard from her contact in an extended period of time, the young entrepreneurial shopkeep had seen her more recently. Um, you also, during this time, acquire some gloves, um, some metal gloves, so that you don't instantly murder yourselves on the oysters. Uh, that one cut seems it'll kill you. Um, uh, for your friend Ember, collecting these items for her, um, as a reminder, 10 gold a whole oyster. So for every whole oyster, 10 gold, boys. Um, so worth the gloves, um, worth the death, who knows. Um, during this time, you also buy some fishing rods and Express your emotions and go fishing. Uh, and you come across an old fisherman named Ivan Frey, who is the Jarl of this section of the continent you are on. Um, the rumors were that he was either probably dead or ill. Um, and it seems that he just wanted to go live life as a fisherman. Um, and during this time of turmoil, he decided he would do that. Um, but nonetheless, you inform him that you'll need a boat the next day. He says he'd be happy to take you out. And you officially now have a game plan. You have also asked Norrell to meet you back at the inn. So that's also something that has happened. And you all are now officially on your way back to said inn. Is there anything you would like to do on the way? Uh, Fen would have inquired uh, to Ivan Frey as to uh, where in the town he could buy a trident, Ivan being uh, a fisherman and all. He would know that information. He's like, I don't even know what a trident is. No, um, he points you in the direction of um, what is basically a shack. And it seems the person who owns the shack, um, this kind of older woman, um, very skinny, just like a basically a dandelion of a woman, um, big poof on top, very slender, um, can't stand inside of it. So she stands on the outside and it looks like she is starting to be in the process of putting things away. But you are able to acquire um, a trident from her as she like reaches a slender arm to the back and like pulls it out. Um, that'd be five gold. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, I have that right here. And, uh, by chance, do you, I know this is a fishing shop. Do you have a sling as well? 
the throwing bolts. She like narrows her eyes. Um, and she reaches into the back and pulls out first off um, a sling. This like, it looks worn. It looks like it has lived a life. This mm-hmm. is not a new sling. Um, and she gives that to you for five copper. You guys, it's used and all. Fantastic. Thank you. I, I appreciate it. And for like five silver, you can also get just like a shit ton of things to throw in there. Uh, no, I, I appreciate it. I, I don't think I need anything. I'm just uh, find stones along the road. I see. And she like gives you a wink, like like she knows what you're up to. She's like, okay, you just needed a sling, right? And then like a bunch of winks uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. as she closes up shop um, kind of right as you finish. You're like, okay. And it's immediately the hatch is closed and she starts locking things. Oh um, yeah. That's how you do it. When you're closing up shop at the time that it's time to close, you close the shutters. <laughs> Listen, she has boundaries and we are respecting those boundaries. We are, we are. She's like, it's seven. Boom. Um, mm-hmm. <laughs> but you all can make your way back towards the inn. Is there anything else? I can't think of anything off the top of my head, although uh, Nana might like to pick up um, maybe just some nice feed for Thick Biscuit. It's been a minute since we did something nice for him, and God knows when we're next going to be able to do something nice for him, depending on how this dungeon crawl goes, so. Might all die. Um, Who knows? Yeah, throw, a copper, throw a copper piece at me and you can get Thick Achoo. Biscuit a snack. Um, that's easy enough, um, as you all sort of pick up some things as you make your way forward. And it becomes very obvious very quickly, um, because this person is not trying to hide in the shadows or, you know, be sneaky and watch you. Um, you see two familiarly, familiarly, um, dressed guards standing in front of what looks like something akin to a cafe, just like a little eating space. Um, These guards have an energy to the ones that were accompanying Jerrica. Um, And one of them looks up and motions for you to come over. God damn it. Oh boy. All right. I suppose uh, we approach. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to keep well, walking like I'm not part of the group because they don't, they should not recognize me and I don't want them to think I'm with these people. Uh-huh. So the Valid. group you're walking with, you just uh. keep pushing. Um, <clears throat> and as the rest of you kind of make your way over, you can see Jericho inside who like leans over and he's like, you can see that he currently has a couple books in front of him and some papers. Um and he like leans forward, um, kind of comically large at this small table. Um, you might want all of you. And he like mm. kind of waves the paperwork. <laughs> I need all signatures. Mm. Right. Uh, has Fen already walked so far down that he can't hear or Fen's see that? power walk. It's like, no, I, I like, don't know nope. that. I was planning I go and run the corner and like sneak it up behind him, but uh <laughs> you see that Fen, he's not gone from view, but he's in the process of trying to get out of line of sight. Um I think Roshan would speak up and say, I thought we were doing this uh on the good of our word. No. <laughs> no, we're not. And what exactly does your contract say then? You're welcome to come inside and read it, but I won't accept it unless all signatures are on it. All right. Fuck this guy. No, I mean, <laughs> he, he knows his business, obviously. Um, I, Nana is going to attempt to kind of like low key catch Fen's attention and wave him back over. She's not going to shout at him, but 
I'm sure you've got a whistle that we've used in the woods or something. I'm sure you can get his attention casually. I don't think that would be impossible. Um, You see not a motion. attention getting. All right, Fen will come back, but he is fucking pissed about it. Um, Uh, Roshan would like to read the the contract. Sure. Um, He sort of waits and like motions to the table for everybody to sit down. It seems another table got pulled a little closer because um, he is a large man and Gordorn is also a large man and the table is mostly covered in papers and books. Um, But as everybody makes their way inside, um, he obliges you. He turns it around and pushes it towards you. Um, what I'm going to give you is a, um, a surmising of the paperwork. Um, Roshan, you're welcome to roll an intelligence check as you look it over. I shall. Tell me what you get. <laughs> I'll do it. Uh, is there any I way that find. I can assist? Was there anything maybe I picked up uh, hmm. while looking over Hertha's shoulder at formal letters and things? Uh, sure. It's Hertha. okay. I got a bastard 20. Oh, damn. Um, you feel pretty good about it. Um, you've seen documents before. You're dating a man who is very versed in documents. Um, yeah. So, you know, I guess if, if you need like a lawyer in this situation, um, you're basically dating the best guy for the job. <laughs> Um, as you read through the contract, um, the party of Nana Hemming's daughter, and then there are spaces to fit, um, three more names, but those are blank currently. Just Nana's name is written already in ink. Um, willingly sign this document emitting fault in uh, damages sustained and items lost equaling 100,000 gold pieces. With this admittance, the party takes responsibility in replacing those lost items with those of equal or greater worth, um, negating the debt and charges. If this job is abandoned for any reason, the burden of 100,000 gold pieces will be placed back upon the party and authorities will be involved. The House of Silas Steele will press charges for breaking and entering, theft, vandalism, destruction of property, assault, and assault of a Jarlsman. And finally, defamation. Um, That is the basis, and then a party's agreeing in a place for everybody's signature. And if Um, we're killed in this attempt? You're welcome to leave documentation with me if you wish to have words sent to loved ones, I will not be seeking out recompense from um, your family in Galunder. Then put that in writing. Then put that in writing. I suppose I could scribble it in and you all could write your initials next to it. Oh, then we'll do that then. All right. Um, He picks up a pen and he like dips it and he's like, adds in the clause that um, if you all are murdered and it's like, you are dead. There's proof of your death. Nobody else owes money. The debt dies with you. Cool, cool, cool. And okay. when you sign your names, um, you can put signatures next to that. Where did... Uh, did we assault a, a Jarlsman? I think he means Norrell. <laughs> um, Nana kind of nudges that and kind of... That's what you think it is. I mean, you think Norrell is the assault of a Jarlsman? Yeah. And like, but, on the down low, she's helping us. Does Jericho know that? You don't know. Ugh. I know. <laughs> you guys know. Like, wait, this doesn't know count. How do you know? I can't tell you. <laughs> uh, I think Roshan, just after uh, perusing it, it's pretty pretty airtight, and uh, he hates admitting guilt, so he's going to sign it and then walk away. Thank you, Roshan, um, and smiles. Um, um, mm-hmm. Before you leave, if you wanted information on what you were um, acquiring, I feel like that's mm-hmm. best, but I suppose you could wing it and then maybe have to go back again if it's not the correct items. 
I feel like... Uh, if, sure, what is it if, that you want? If not an itemized list, at the very least, a description would be helpful. It is, it is mostly descriptions, and uh, but he waits for everyone to sign before continuing. Uh, yeah, Ben's going to sign his name in Sylvan. So if he wants to figure out what my name actually is, he can go fuck himself off to a library somewhere. Um, he looks at it. Fancy. Um, and he turns it to Gorbjorn. Uh, I'm going to do like a little half circle for, mm-hmm. and like line for G. There you go. He learned. He learned from Ink. Perfect. And um, I will sign as well. And a witness will sign. And um, you watch as a, like the person who was working here at like the, the counter who had been standing there off in the back the whole time makes their way over a third party and signs the document as well. And he puts like an arm out and touches her. Thank you. Um, and they just nod and go back to um, bussing down tables, basically. I don't want to keep like, this place. What that interaction yeah. looked like. Did it look uncomfortable for the for the other person you can roll inside i'd I'd like to no that's a pretty shit roll so we'll see what i can deduce uh it's only an 11. um it seemed like an interaction between strangers like uh, uncomfortably like it's kind of like you got brought on for jury duty and you're like okay (laughs) Okay, I all right, I guess. Qualifications, but I'm technically a witness, so I can sign the paper. It it wasn't anything too nuanced. It just seems like this person's like, okay, it's an inconvenience. Got it. Um, cool, 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 cool. All right. Um, he takes the paperwork and he hands it off to another guard. Perfect. Thank you for your time. I was kind of hoping that you all would enjoy this a bit more. That's why I pitched this to Silas. Um, You seemed interested in um, oddities. Oddities are certainly within our purview, and um, I believe that we should be able to acquire these uh, for your employer without too much difficulty. Mm. That's the hope. This is more of a, a kindness on my part and not exactly Silas's, um, but mm. he is reasonable when necessary. What have we done to deserve your kindness? I see potential, and why not use it? Mm. Uh, you rotting in jail helps no one. That's just my opinion, though. Uh, Anyways, um, going to be just very straightforward about all of this. And he pulls out more paperwork. Um, Golly. So the thing is, this is, as has been stated, and you are quite aware of, this is a dangerous uh, place you are heading towards. Mm -hmm. Um, It is the middle of winter. It is in the middle of the ocean. It's, um, It's not going to be easy, and that is why Not everything you find will be um, necessarily needing to find its way into my hands. Um, Things you may keep. Um, You may keep any currency you find. You may keep any jewelry and gems that are not enchanted that you find. Um, Any unenchanted armors or weapons are yours to take. Um, Things in the... um, how do you say, home goods category, I suppose, that are not enchanted. You are welcome to keep. Um, um, All of Mr. Steele's interests fall to art and paper goods. Um, All intact papers, journals, scrolls, and tomes um, should be collected for the Silas Steele estate. All statues, paintings should be collected for the Silas Steele estate. Any enchanted items, um, should be, uh, and so on and so forth, you understand. Um, also, if you find any unactive remains, those may also be acquired. Um, let's see here. And you just Can you elaborate on that? I'm sorry. Uh, unactive remains. 
Can you elaborate on that? If the if you come across, let's say, a hand bone and you believe it has no intention of corrupting or does not seem corrupted in any way, um, you may bring it back and it adds to your tally. What is the going rate for uncorrupted bone structures these days? It depends on whose bone it is, I suppose, and how intact it is. Um, hmm. There are things of more worth, but if you come across it, um, whole pieces are better, skulls usually go for high rates. Um, let's see here. Um, this pushes up his little glasses. Um, if you come across a large item, like a statue of some sort that you cannot carry with you, and he points to the bag of holding, um, if you are not able to transport it, I request that you take the item out of the tower and place it into the open. You may leave it at the bottom of the ocean and another team will come acquire it if you inform us it is there um, and it'll be added to your total. Um, let's see. Um, anything else you find that does not fit into these categories of enchanted paperwork and art, I suppose, and, and bone. Um, you are welcome to keep. Um, that seems to be the logistics part were there any questions regarding that I well believe... you provide um means of carrying such artifacts well you have a pretty good way of transporting things um we could also provide satchels um, we could provide a box of some sort. Uh, we don't have any magical means of transport, but if something is too big to transport, um, you may leave it on the ocean floor, but in, in an available spot. So like out of character, it's just like, is there really like a set dimension of a bag of holding or? I'm not super picky as long as it can fit through like the opening of the bag of holding. For sure. As I'm long just it's like- All within I reason. I have to get your art and my gold. Like, it's already full mm. enough of my junk. <laughs> yes. we only I'm, have I'm so pretty much lax with that. As long as it's not crazy, it's going to be mm. fine. Okay. okay. All right, all right. Because this guy's like, I want statues. And I'm like, I, I'll do what I can. Mm. <laughs> uh, we'll we'll best mark guy. the big ones. We'll mark the big ones. I suppose my question revolves around the fact that this is a structure that at one point wasn't a ruin and now is a ruin and is now at the bottom of the ocean. Mm -hmm. How did it get from one state of affairs to the other? That is the next category. If all of you will sign um, in regards to um, the items you may keep and not keep um, and present the paper to you to be signed again, um, everyone, I'm assuming, gives their signatures, no matter how crotchety they are about it. Um, and the papers are given to the guard again after he signs, and the witness comes back over and signs. Oh, boy. Um, so this is just like, okay, I guess I'm just in this for as long as this guy's here. So the thing is, in regards to the history of said tower, and the assumption is that it is a tower, um, this place is currently unexplored um, on the inside that anyone really knows of. If somebody has been in there, it would be news to literally anyone who knows about it. Um, the amount of people who do are slim. Uh, the amount of information on this tower condenses down to this and um, kind of moves some papers to the side and taps a book. Um, it's a children's book. Uh, it is a children's book of, um, like, folklore. Um, so the thing is, the assumed story, because everything about this place is assumed, um, it is said to be Fritjof's um, tower. He is a wizard that um, was said to exist before the fall. Um, during the war, people assume is when the tower somehow found its way from land to the middle of the ocean. The only way it really made sense. 
Uh, Fritjof is a wizard of high renown um, and not known for being um, the best of people, but his items are of worth. Um, let's see if there's anything else of note, because the thing is, there's not much to speak of. You are currently doing something very historic, might I say. Um, um, I do have a map, but it is an approximation. And um, he pulls out a map and points to um, um, an area that shows the coast. And you can see there's a tiny little X in the water. It is assumed to be around there 30-ish miles out. It is um, currently the best I could do. Doing research on this is um, ineffective. So I have a children's book and a map. Hmm. I suppose it really is historic. Nobody uh, knows what is on the inside. That'll be for you to figure out. Not for nothing. Just an idea. What value would an accurate map of the place be worth? If you are able to place this specifically on a map and chart the inside, that would, of course, have its own worth. Something to consider. Thank you. Um, on that note, there are specific items. And if these don't exist, then they don't exist. Um, if you find, and this goes into the paper goods category, if you find a journal that includes pre-war musings, that would at a large sum cut right off of your debt. These items at least 10,000 gold each, depending on the quality. Um, so the journal, 10,000 and 70,000 gold if you are able to find um, two gems. They are scion in color. Um, one of them has four sides and one of them has six sides. You'll know you have found them. They should be enchanted and we assume they are probably um, held in some sort of gold casing. Um, along with adding, you know, taking a large sum off of your debt, we will pay you 5,000 for each of these items. So if you acquire a journal and both gems, you will receive 15,000 gold pieces. Hmm. Um, Wait, I feel you pretty said, content. You said earlier that some items were worth 10K and then a 70K or? Yes, the journal is um, 10K. And if you acquire both gems, um, enchanted, Probably 70. And how much do we owe him? You owe 100,000 gold. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, is there anything else? I wish I could give you more. Usually the sites that um, uh, we explore usually more and more detail, but um, once again, historic. So we're good. Curious. I think you're muted, Nana. Oh, <clears throat> sorry. I was only saying I believe so. Uh, what was that, Gorbion? If we found an item used by a god, how much would that go for? Inside the ruin, I would have to evaluate it. Oh, oh. 
Sadly, we are currently negotiating in items inside the tower, but if you fall short and you have things on hand, we could start putting more things on the table if that's how you'd like to proceed. We don't have anything right now. Uh huh. He smiles, of course. Um, well, I'm content. I still find you to be quite capable. I appreciate your cooperation. I feel like both parties can benefit. Um, and I hope you enjoy some legal paid work. I hope this suits you well. Anna, you're muted again. I'm at, <clears throat> hello, hello? Yes, yep. better. Yeah. Should certainly suit us well, at the very least for the time being. Thank you very much. All right, and when do you plan to head out? Uh, first light, I do believe, would be best for us. Hmm. I love the initiative. Roll for initiative? <laughs> you're welcome to. No. You're welcome I, to. I don't think I don't think we want that. Um it's... might be easier. I I don't think we want the aftermath. <laughs> um he sort of nods and then like motions to the door. Um if there's nothing else, you are free to go. Thank you for your time. Uh I believe unless anybody else has any questions for the guy, Nana's going to head towards the door with a small incline of the head. Does, oh, we lost our DM. Uh-uh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Does it look like he walked here, or is there, like, transport waiting outside for him, or? Um, you glance outside, roll perception. Say 22. You don't see any transportation. Cool. I was really tempted to piss on it. <laughs> I mean... Guys being so pleasant. <laughs> um, the pleasantness that pisses Roshan off. Because we're being extorted. Again. You again. All again. did commit a crime. Again, again, um, again. <laughs> willingly commit a crime, I'll add. It was against the it guy who killed our friend. It doesn't make it any less extorting. Take it as you will. You could also just try to pay it off or run away. We do not have the money, and I guarantee we'd get found. Guarantee we could hire somebody to kill him and his boss for half of what we owe. <laughs> you guys have half of what's owed? No, I'm just saying. <laughs> but I could. In theory. Not at all. Um, but you all are motioned out and he seems to stay inside and you watch as he like stands up and it looks like he's currently, um, the body language is apologetic um, to the person who is playing the part of the witness and then like picks up his chair and like flips it over and like puts it on the table and just seems to be having a conversation with them um, as you leave. And you all are outside. Um, Roshan grumbles to himself and says, I hope we fucking die in there. As much as I can appreciate Just... the sentiment, let's not. You have to find your sister, Roshan. Can't uh... die yet. Roshan's going to die out of spite. <laughs> what? Just to make Rose mad? To make everyone mad. Well, I'm already mad. Tough. You don't have to die for that. <laughs> We're all already pissed. We... Exactly. And on top of that, we'll just be more angry. We'll find a way to get Tordrick back up. We'll get him to resurrect you. And then we'll slap you in the face. Come on. Lafayette will shove his hand. Back. So cabin. far up your ass. <laughs> Squish your heart. <laughs> and bring you back kicking and screaming. We know he can do it. Uh, um, let's all go have a drink. And besides, we've got someone else to expect later on. Yeah. You all start making your way back. Um, 
unsure of when Norrell will arrive at the room you'd have to check. Um, she just said okay to Roshan's message of meet us there. Um, and last time that happened, she came in through the window immediately. So it's really a toss up on timing. Uh, but you all arrive, what would you like to do? Get a drink, please. <laughs> Uh, yeah. And uh, some pets on uh, Bertro. How many? Nana will respect the cat, sticks to the floor, teases a half, and then pulls back. Yeah, there's like a little like, like just more aggressive like paw movement, and like mm-hmm. you both like back away like okay, mm-hmm. we're good here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm, gonna, okay. I'm gonna grab my drink and quickly walk across the street real fast and I'm going to go up to uh, the room that Tordrick is in, being careful mm-hmm. of the caltrops, and oh. I'm just going to start splashing some of the beer in his face. Just like, <laughs> come on, buddy, we need you. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> um, speaking oh. of such, um, when you enter the room and you like look down to put your hand into the beer and you like look up, um, you see Norrell sitting on the bed, like looking at Tordrick. Oh! Oh, and then like, an ale like kind of splashes in the face. She's like, "I oh, know." <laughs> Would Fen have I stopped himself those... short if he saw her? I wasn't aware this room had um, a comatose body in it, but I he's thought not, I would. Check he's it. not involved. Please don't get him involved. I, I don't think anyone knows that he's here other than us, and I'd rather they don't, just in case. Things go badly. I personally don't want to be involved, so I won't drag anyone else in. I appreciate that. Thank you. How can I help you, Noral? I was told to come here. Yeah, I think we all need to have a talk. Um, I'm glad you're here. Uh, good of you to come. We're certainly under no obligation to. Uh, should I fetch the others? Of course, if if they wish to be part of the conversation, I'm not entirely sure why why I was called. So, so I can't start the conversation. Sadly, that's fine. I'll I'll be right back. Um, here, uh, would you like me to move to a different room? Would, no, this just... this this room's fine. Uh, just be careful. There's pointy things on the floor. I saw. Would you like to hold a bird? Sure. She like reaches the hand out. Um, That's Jenny. She's nice. Um, actually, I'm not sure um, if she's nice or not. But Jenny, uh, Jenny hops on over. Yeah, nice, nice. She seems very well trained. Uh, she kind of does what she wants, but she seems pretty agreeable most of the time. Um, mm-hmm. uh, Jenny, I'll be right back. Uh, this is normal. She she's also nice, uh, not well trained, but uh, does what she wants also. Um, I'll be right back. I'll be here. Hello, Jenny. Um, and oh my God. <laughs> seems to have like a, a conversation like she just got introduced to a person she doesn't know. She's like, <laughs> hello. Um, How's it going? Uh, how it's are better. you? As like the door closes. <laughs> All right, I'll fetch the others. <laughs> we're we're double fisting on our way back though. Like we're, we're going to carry has, the yeah. has two drinks in hand. Yeah, we're all ready to go. Plus we've got one for Norrell. Yeah, oh, of course. In every crook of the arm is a drink. Yep. Yep. Um, as the party makes their way back up into the room with Tordrek. Um, and you see that she's like kind of propped Tordrek up a little more. And she's like, I'm sorry, him laying down was making me uncomfortable. So I just, I'm making him more present. Um, and she like kind of like leans him forward. So his like elbow is on like the nightstand and his head's like this. So he's like, it looks like he's listening intently. Um, she's like, okay. I'm going to put um, one of my beers in his hand. Uh, it, the hand grabs it like he's conscious, um, but he is not. Um, oh, alas, the instinct uh, is so strong. It can't be stopped. Um, she looks over to Roshan. Um, you, you called me? Yes, uh, there's been a couple developments. Um, All right. It seems your father is sending us to that inverted tower 
in the water or underwater tower. I don't know what happened to it. Um, one second. Like um, Fritjof's tower? Yes. That's the one. Supposedly and... there's some things worth getting in there. Oh, I believe that. Mm. And I was wondering if you might want to join us. You said you have interests in that direction and that perhaps there was corruption that needed to be taken care of there. We know plenty about it and we know plenty about killing it, but we could always use more help. Um, did, did you find any more information about my contact? A little. We had been recently enough to the bait shop, um, uh, mm -hmm. but not recently enough to take your most recent note. She was there uh, last two days ago with a hairless man. Um, the... Oh. The uh, description I got of her was uh, dark hair, pulled tightly back, dark skin with a purple tint on the ears, probably half elf, with some sort of markings on the face. Does that ring any bells? I, I can't say that it does, but I never, never met her, but... Um... It's good to know she's alive, or at least was alive a couple days ago. Um, I very much want to help you. Um, I feel obligated to keep the water safe, to keep the coastline clear. Want that as well. But if she's alive and in town, mm -hmm. what if she tries to reach out while I'm gone? I thought that uh, might be the way you feel. Yeah. Um, so is there any help you can give us? Do you have friends in the area um, who might have similar goals? Um, Roshan, advice. Roll I'm, I'm good at persuasion. Come on, buddy, you can do it. Basic lad. Uh, 17. Okay. Um, she thinks for a moment. I am the only one currently of my rank on shore. Um, but I could get you supplies. Um, the environment is going to be harsh and I could supply you with the things that would normally uh, be at my disposal. And I could get those to you for use. Um, sadly, I don't have anyone I could call and finding them on the water on your own would be difficult. And they may not be above the water, so to speak. Something for warmth, seal skin or something to, to wear to keep um, the, the chill out of us? There's There's something we use, I'll include it. Um, I can't we, get a lot of it, is the thing, but I can get enough for, for everyone to have something for a bit. Great. Um, we were planning on leaving bright and early tomorrow. Will that, will you be able to get us supplies by then? I will have a box waiting for you with Aaron. Who's Aaron? Aaron is the young entrepreneur who owns the little shop. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, lovely. Yes. Ah, uh, yes, I have that. Sharp little Aaron. Excellent. Mm. Um, I wish I could be of more help. Um, mm -hmm. So you were, I don't want to use the word hired, 
doesn't seem mm. exactly like hired, but um, conscripted to check out this site um, in trade. It mm. was that or pay the sum total of the damages in gold or go to jail. Understood. Uh, she like dwells on it for a moment. Oh, I know that shit was expensive. Um, I think this is a good opportunity for you um, compared to other opportunities people have been throwing around. Um, and she kind of like glances over in the direction of where the tavern is. Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's not fun and it's not good and it's going to be incredibly dangerous. Um, that sort of describes most of what we've done for the last year or so. So um, I wouldn't say we were used to it, but uh, we've figured out ways to navigate. Then, then it should fall in your favor. Can you, Norrell, just give us one, a rundown one more time of why you are interested in, in it in the first place and what we should look for for you or what needs solving there? Oh, um, um, you brought this up before, uh, and so has a person that I was working with. I do not know where they are currently. Uh, but they worship the nine sisters as well as I'm assuming your companion here. Um, and she kind of like motions to the hammer with um, symbols on it. Um, and a bunch of just like very scantily clad ladies just carved in over the whole thing. Um, uh, they talk often about how it seems corruption has been even before the large influx um, recently on the water, there seemed to be um, There seemed to be an issue occurring, um, more creatures upon death corrupting, um, the water seeming much more dangerous. And um, she believed that it was likely from this tower. Um, she said she had no proof of it, but she said it was a feeling. And now you have told me that is what you believe.
Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Dice Cult. We took our break a little early uh, because we wanted to. That's why. Uh, Not because of technical difficulties. No, that's fake never. news. Um, but we are back now, and it is episode 96, boys. Uh, currently, the party has just gotten back from, I think, a very pleasant conversation uh, with Jericho. Some would disagree, but that's okay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, pleasant, given it's you know, maybe our third extortion in this town? Extortion, polite deal. I mean, it's better than jail. It's It's better than jail. Probably better than jail. At least you could put it on, like, a scale. Like, Mm. do I want to be dead or in jail? No, I hate those things. But, like, because I'm on an adventure, maybe. Listen, Roshan, you need to get your shit together. (laughs) Um... But you just finished that conversation. You also talked with Norrell, who you're still in the room with. Um, and she can't join you because she's worried that um, she'll miss her contact, who you've confirmed might be alive. Uh, but she will give supplies the best she can and um, can help in that way. Um, is there anything else you want to talk to her about? Norrell, um, do you mind... Keeping Jenny overnight. Um, but she can't come with us. She doesn't need much care. She doesn't need anyone at all. Uh, she just seems to enjoy having someone there. And she likes dried grub, bugs, whatever. And I'll give the satchel that I just bought, a little pouch of uh, feed I just bought. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. And just make sure she's taken care of for until we come back. And if, if we don't come back, then it's up to you. You can set her free or continue to care for her, whichever you prefer. But again, I won't be here to take care of her for the time being. And if I'm not back, then I'd rather someone care for her. Um. This is a big responsibility. Thank you for seeing um, me fit um, to watch Jenny the bird, um, including upon your death. I will do my best. I appreciate it. Also, um, Toldrick Hill will wake up at some point. He hasn't needed any care to this point, but at some point he'll... He will wake up, and if someone could tell him of our fate if we don't return, and uh, I'm sure he could see to it that our families are informed. Okay. Um, I'll make sure to check in. How much was uh, how much was rent of this room in particular per night? Um not a lot it's a shithole um okay. you could probably get more or somebody could just wink at olavi and you probably have a room forever um, <laughs> somebody being gorbjorn only only mm. one person can wink at olavi and get the room forever but <laughs> um but yeah easy enough to throw more money down for an extended period of time on one room if you were okay yeah I, I would i would just like to like make sure it's paid for for i don't know let's Optimistically, say two weeks before. I was going to say like two days. <laughs> Fifty-three years. <laughs> no, I'm just I, out, out of game of <laughs> Cordrick's back in two weeks. So, uh, just like uh, yeah, like I just sort of like pay, make sure that it's not like oh. Nobody's here, and they, like, throw him out in the trash or something. Oh, my <laughs> God. Nobody outside. put our cleric in the dumpster, okay? Nobody they, put our they cleric They use him, the like, dumpster. a sign for the tavern. They just kind of, like, oh pop God. him up outside, and he just holds the drinks, and they're like, They oh, put a big, tall working. red hat on him, dress They'll him in put blue. put him in with in the broom closet and cleaning supplies. <laughs> <laughs> they open it, he falls out occasionally, like, oh, shit. And they ah, push him Jack, back in. Stuff him back there behind the brooms. Hold the brooms. Um, <laughs> I'm um, sure Frank will be thrilled to hear all of this. Um, but I, it is easy enough to make sure your friend is not probably kicked out on the street. Um, mm. uh, Norrell kind of takes stock of her jobs and is like, all right. Um, 
It is appreciated, and of course, assuming we do survive, we very much would... I very much would like to help you to find more about your contact, assuming they don't get back with you before we return. Um, naturally, would, if anything develops, that. you know, please do let us know. Of course. Um, you you're don't. welcome to reach out to me mentally. Um, I'll try to help if I can, but um, I'm assuming where you're going, I cannot get to you within an hour, so, but I'll do my best. Thank you, Norrell. We, we hey. appreciate everything up to this point and including these requests. Uh, happy You've to help and- um, very fairly. Is it all right if I stay in this room tonight? Absolutely. I can't imagine Tordric would mind. All right. He looks like he'll stick to his side anyways. Uh, <laughs> Again, uh, the floor is very pointy. Just it's, it's, be it's, careful. It's, 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 <laughs> you probably noticed. Um, I did. Uh, but I will, <laughs> it's always good to be reminded that mm. there are caltrops all over the floor. We were naturally a little um, uh, cautious coming into a new town for the first time and having to leave uh, a friend unattended for extended periods. Oh, this is a terrible area and Olavi is a monster. Um, but... Oh, we know, we know. Mm -hmm. we, we gathered. <laughs> but we're here. We're here. Um, she like props Tordrick back up and is like, okay. And like puts him against the headboard. Like, okay, there you go. Uh, yeah, there um, he is. Well, yeah. I do have to. Mm, I'll be back. I have to make sure that I can get your supplies ready, but then I'll probably stay here. Um, I don't want to take Jenny out and then lose her and then I'll feel bad about it. So I'm going to leave Jenny here and then leave and then come back and then I'll stay with her. That works. All right. Thank you so much. Of course. Um, somebody owes me a favor anyways. Um, and she like makes her way over to the window, um, casually stepping around Caltrops. Um, is there anything else before I go? Safe travels. Safe travels. I'll read out the window as she's gone. Invisible to 90% of the party. It's so um, cool how she does that. So, <laughs> wow. It's so, it's Guys, is that how I look? I, I, <laughs> I, Nana does I not realize that the rest of the party can't quite see her as long, and she does not realize she's the only one who has that advantage. Yeah, Nana like what never like asked about it. She's like, I always could like see Fen a little bit, and like <laughs> it's mm. not like you guys talk about it. So it's like, okay, neat. <laughs> oh, I suppose that's just how that works. And Nana doesn't realize that she's getting like another, I guess maybe 10, 20 feet worth of visibility on her before she disappears. Yeah, that's the struggle though it's like uh with dark vision they're basically invisible and without dark vision you can't see them because it dark it's so, dark it's really just kind <laughs> of a, a lose lose situation for anybody trying to look yeah um, but you know it's fine but you all are left to your own devices for the night um it is the evening now is there anything you guys wanted to do before bed um i also want to know if there's anything you are not taking with you um, hmm. if you are putting things into the bag of holding instead, um, I am following rules about armor and weapons and what have you, um, in regards to the water. So if you have on heavy armor, sucks to suck. Uh, hmm. <laughs> if you have on medium armor, kind of sucks to suck. Like it's all, um, is not fun. But the thing is, yeah. you are also going to the bottom of the water. So, yeah, uh, truth, really, however you feel about it. Uh, I think Nana would at least uh, raise a point to uh, the party. Um, well, I can't imagine that Roshan's going to have much difficulty with fighting whatever we come across down there on account of magic. Fen, you've got those fancy arrows you purchased. Um, 
Gorbjorn, I don't suppose you might like something that might swing a little easier or move a little easier through the water uh, than your sword. Would you care for a spear? Um, like I, I got something like that, but yeah, sure. I, Nana is happy to lend a spear to a friend. Um, uh, what's a spear among friends? Yeah. Um, I, I will also say, um, just, just to point things out because it has been a hot minute. Um, you do see sitting next to the bedside a beautiful hammer that is known to be unimpeded by water. Hmm. There is that. Uh, so that's up to you how me, you feel about it. Will it let me pick it up? Are we worthy? Are we worthy? Are we worthy? You, you're welcome to see if you're worthy. I... Gorbjorn will like slowly go and try to pick it up. You go over. The nine sisters approve. And you put the hammer. Um, it picks up easily. Um, and you kind of look it over. Um, yeah, you seem to be able to handle it. Ha ha. I think I will bring Tordrix with us. This is a mission for the, the Nine Sisters anywho, so why not bring a mystical weapon? May as well, and hopefully it will bode well for us going down there. So do you want me to just tell you what I'm bringing in order, in order to travel light? No. Okay. I trust you guys. Okay. Um, but if it's like we are leaving things in the inn, that's what I'd want to know about. But um, you can just make a list. Okay. Or even if you're just going to leave them on the boat or put them in the bag of holding. Or basically, my issue is, are you wearing armor? Are you not wearing armor? What weapon are you using? You got a book in your bag? Sucks to suck. As, uh, as far as the armor goes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to withhold judgment on what sort of stuff is yes. left for us. Like, like, if it's like, oh... This is a, you know, a whole suit of essentially aquatic armor. Then I have to remove mine. Then I would not wear it. But I would have, I would make that decision when we find out what's left for us. Mm -hmm. And you can always leave things topside on the boat a little bit. So that's up to you guys what you do. Okay. Um, is there anything that you're doing before you go to sleep? You have an early morning. You were asked to be there. Um, Basically, before the sun came up. So <laughs> that was the request of, of Ivan. Yes. Yeah. Oh, good. Good. Uh, there was the only the thing that I Nana, saw it. Yeah. The only thing that Nana wants to do is to try and like <sighs> calm down, settle down for the night, and uh, just kind of goes to uh, Thick Biscuit's stall in the. Um, I forgot the word, the stable, uh, <laughs> uh, in order to give him treats and groom him and sort of like just get out of her head for a while before bed. And if somebody wants to come talk to her, they can. She's not making Easy any enough to take it. some time and just take care of Thick Biscuit. Um, anybody doing anything, identifying yeah. anything, what have you? Wait, do we have anything what? to identify? You do. A uh, <laughs> couple things. I, what I, is only it? Think, I only think one thing. Um, there was that um, that vase that you um, oh. stole. I didn't want to take it out in town. All right, a mystery it remains. Um, but there is something Roshan wanted to do, and right. he would wait. Uh, a few hours and then he would go back over to Tordrick's room, knock just very lightly and then let himself in and see if Norl is there. Knock, knock, here I come, beach. Um, um, you enter the room. Um, Norl is currently present um, and like glances over. This is the second time 
that people have attempted to break into my bedroom in the past few days. Um, I think Roshan will just say, well, do you want to hold a knife to my neck again? Um, in a stern uh, flirt. A stern flirt. A sturt, if you will. Um, oh, yes. A flirt. Um, I like flirt. Um, go ahead and just roll charisma. Yes, one second. 22. 22. Um, she, sorry, stern flirt still has me. Um, <laughs> I'm in <laughs> Yeah, stern flirt. I'm like, valid, understood. Um, she raises an eyebrow um, and kind of like looks at you for a long moment. You're welcome to come in. Try not to step on any of the caltrops, though. <laughs> um, mm-hmm. I think Roshan would go in and uh you know blow off some steam and then let himself out if she's amenable to that um if she is consenting if she is she a consenting adult um you then give me a sec who is noral <laughs> who is she is she in the grand scheme of things um uh, when you do approach, she does sort of motion for you to go to like the end of the bed. Cause she is currently sitting next to Tordrick. So she, ah, that's she, fair. she sort of motions you that way. Um, Roshan will comply. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, mommy, ma'am, ma'am. Ma- <laughs> I gotta go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, I'm going to ask because this is not exactly um what I'm best at. Uh, any particular reason, or just because? Because it's been a rough day. Because you think I'm pretty. Is there a particular reason? Um, it's a little bit of all of the above. Uh, turns out I don't not like having a knife at my neck. And I think it might be nice. Hmm. That's not exactly how I do things, but I'm sure we could find a middle ground. And she is a consenting adult. Um, And um, steam is blown off in like a nice fade to black because that's what we do Mm -hmm. here, nasties. (laughs) Uh, Tordrick's head, Tordrick's like casually to the window. He's sitting at the window like this, looking out. <laughs> um, and you leave, and that does not really seem to bother her much. Hey, 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 hey. Nice. Amazing. Amazing. In the hallway. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> he probably does get out in the hallway and, like, let off a, a nice heavy sigh. Mm. Yes. Mm. better than screaming yes. in the bucket boys that's yeah. true oh that is also true. i did roll earlier for history on fritjof's tower but what do we got an 18 hell yeah okay. um so the thing is with fritjof um not a crazy amount is known about him he is a wizard he was alive before the war started, as it is said. 
Um, it said he died during the war, and it seems that he was a wizard um, not known for his kindness. Um, um, he was known to be uh, cruel uh, and seemed to dabble in some unsavory magics, but you would have to go look more things up. This isn't something you studied heavily in is evil wizards yeah. from before times. Mm. Uh, but that's what you know. You know he's a, sh a shitty wizard, a good wizard, but a shitty person. Um, Great wizard, shitty person. This keeps yeah. happening. Isn't that the case? Um, and he's <laughs> cool. Isn't that, isn't that the rub? Mm. Um, is, is there anything else? Are people just trying to get their hours in? Um, yes, not. There was only one little thing. I, I also I've... knock on her door. And... No, 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 not that one. Although it's tempting. It's very Everyone tempting. Everyone knocks on the door and she's like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, although Nana did want to try uh, speaking with Thick Biscuit uh, in the same way that she attempted speaking with Jenny. She would like to think that Thick Biscuit maybe likes her a little better since she's been feeding him and grooming him, but maybe not. <laughs> um, you use um, speak with animals. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you say? Uh, I'd like to say, um, I hope that that uh, little treat might have been to your liking. If uh, it does not work for you, I can look for something else if you like something better. Holy shit. That's strange. Hey, um, <laughs> hey there. Um, First time talking with a ranger. It, um, yeah. it was good. Um, yeah. um that, that's pretty wonderful. good. Working for me. That's delightful. I can get you more of the same, at least as long as we're in this town. I can't promise much beyond that, but while we're in this town, definitely. Are a peach. You, um, there's it's still like blank in the eyes, but like the horse yeah. is looking at you and acknowledging you. That's cool, um, that's fine, and seems happy to eat and seems confused about talking. Uh, that's <laughs> fair. Uh, <laughs> that is weird, but is happy to eat and seems content with what you are giving them. Fantastic. Uh, Nana would kind of just like to chat with Sick Biscuit about, you know, the weather and, you know, whether or not he might need some blankets cold. for the winter coming. Um, and up. <laughs> very yeah, basic yeah. kind of answers like, hmm, I walk. It's mm -hmm. cold. Oh, uh, yes. Of and like, all very straightforward kind of answers. Um, it's, it's kind of refreshing, honestly. Just, it's, it, there's no guile here there's no duplicity this horse just wants blankets horse and horse would never lie to me uh, there was that one time that i was attacked by bugs with heads in the sky um but y'all saved me so that's fine yeah uh, we we will do everything we can not to let that happen again um mm. thank you you're a doll Oh, you're absolutely a trooper. You've been carrying us on your back for just so very long, and you've been doing such a good job, and no complaints at all. Well, that's good you're to hear. Bad. If I had, like, a card for you to write that down on for my manager, I definitely would, but I do not, and I do not have a manager. Um, I was that about is okay. to say, I was wondering whether or not you actually had one. Subcontracting I, I assume riding? you're kind of a manager. I don't know. Is this a business relationship? Know. I'm not sure. I mean, I suppose there would need to be contracts and things, but I don't know anything about that sort of stuff. Certainly dwell on, like, the logistics of it if you're interested. I'll give it a long think. I'll give it a long mm. think, and in the meantime, you'll get as much good food and good blankets as I can find for you. Um, Thick Biscuit seems pretty content. Um, with uh, being offered things and given things and having a pleasant conversation with a manager. Um, but it seems that Big Biscuit doesn't dislike you. Cool. That's all right by, that's all right by Nana. I'll that's take right it. By Nana. I'll take it. Uh, it's like, I don't know what it would take to maybe like start building an affinity with Thick Biscuit, but. Um... You're currently on the, on the path of that. You're okay. You're... You've been you've been hanging out with Thick Biscuit and starting to like 
um, spend time with them. So yeah, you're starting to build something. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Neat. Then um, uh, when that eventually peters out spell wise, um, I figure Nana would uh, make sure that he has a good, good groom all the way right. through his fur and uh, head back to bed, giving him one more nice taste of a uh, good treat. Um, anything from Fen and Gorbjorn before it is time for an adventure? I would just like to, Fen would just like to explain to Jenny that he intends to come back for her, but if he I'm not doesn't... not abandoning you. Yeah, but if he doesn't, then then Norl's a perfectly nice person. Uh, and of course, she's always welcome to go home to Briarheart if if uh if that doesn't work out but uh okay. just a just a like a conditional maybe not quite a goodbye but like just trying to explain to her as best he can in not speaking bird language through through <laughs> hand motions and yeah, facial I, expressions i mm. pantomime what i think Renz would understand as best i can <laughs> and she watches in awe um, you don't know if she understands, but, uh, but you I'm feel giving a her connection ex- But I'm giving her extra treats. So but she's happy to eat treats. That is that is a known canon fact. Um okay. You um two of you spend the night talking to animals. Um, I mean it's what rangers do. Um Gorbjorn, anything before bed? Uh just going to be mystically looking into this hammer of the nine sisters with my wolf eyes Uh, yeah you watch like the shimmer of magic move across it with your wolf eyes kind of like following the sides and like the lengths of the bodies carved into it it is a it is a very nice magical weapon which i could get you the stats of Uh oh which I could do that. Um, hmm. If I was nice, I could do that. Um, I suppose. But if everything is done here, after staring deeply into this hammer and hoping the two of you now have a connection, the night, she do end, and all of you have a long rest. Huzzah! Hope you dreamed of nine sisters, Gorbjorn. <laughs> Gorbjorn often did. dreams of uh, many <laughs> a lady. No, that's that's not strange. Yeah, that um, makes sense. But I think Roshan uh, mm-hmm. turns up at breakfast, uh, looking a little less wound up than he. It's like he got a good night's sleep, kind of. For him. For him. Yeah. No. No actual sleep. But... <laughs> no guarantee she enjoyed it either. <laughs> Did we roll for it? What are you guys rolling for? <laughs> I'm looking up hammer stats. What are y'all talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Whether or not Roshan and not uh, Norrell had a good time. Not the size of the hammer. It's how you swing it. Exactly. <laughs> well, Norrell doesn't come downstairs, so you only can base it on Roshan, who seems to be in a good mood. Um, and I would say most people were not ear to the wall. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> um, Warhammer of the Nine Sisters. Um, plus one. Add your proficiency bonus. Where's all my nice things on it? Bonus piercing damage on a crit and no disadvantage in water. Cool. Okay. Nice. When you crit, we'll figure that out. Eh. We'll get there when we get there, boys. We'll do it um, live. Um, you all get your things together and you make your way out to the water. Um you are able to swing by the shop where you can see a very sleepy Aaron 
um, oh. who looks like he's just got things open or is starting to get things open. Oh. Um, and he uh, presents a box to you. And he kind of goes over and he's like, okay, okay, give me, give me a second. And he like um, pops it open. I was told to explain everything in here, so I'm going to. Um, Thank you. And it pulls out of the box um, the thing that I'm calling uh, um, instead of a trident, it's a Biden. Um, Hell yeah. It was the thing that you saw Norrell with um, her weapon. There are two of those in there, so a two-pronged trident. Um, he also pulls out these like long thin tubes about um four inches long a piece and informs you these are snap lights it seems that if you crack them um, they will light up a small area for an hour oh um he gives you six of those six of those are in the box fantastic Um, you are also given four wrist floats um it seems to be an item that goes around your wish you all around your wrist around your wrist and if you activate it it tries to pull you up to the surface as fast as it can um ah. it has one use only one mm. use well that's um, good there that's is our cord. Um, unless, you, unless there's the bends in this world <laughs> um there is um a container of heat salve There is enough for one use for everybody. Heat salve lasts eight hours um, and would keep you safe in cold water environments Mm. um, so that you would not, you know, start dying immediately. Of hypothermia? Yes, that's Uh good. You are also given one underwater flare. This flare can work underwater. Interesting. Uh, How long does the underwater flare last? Uh, Aaron shrugs. Fair enough. I know about that one. He's like, "Mm." not just common. Sometime. Hmm. Presumably, I would suppose not quite as long as the uh, snap lights. Yeah, probably not. Mm -hmm. (laughs) He's just—he's kind of like trying to blink his eyes to be like more open, but it is failing. Oh. I'm going to give him a gold coin for his help. Understood. Does that him up? And no. uh, <laughs> he slips the coin into his pocket. Mm. All right. And he like pushes the box over to you. You guys can take whatever you want. Thank you very, very much. Not my much. stuff anyway. So it's yeah. not like I could keep it, but I could keep it. Mm. But we did pay for it. This is all worth more than a gold. And <laughs> well, um, that is just true, to... but it wasn't yours to sell in the first place. But thank you very much for keeping these for us and for allowing us to get them this morning. It's going to be very useful for our uh, fishing trip. Well, have fun on your legal fishing trip and does like. It's like, thoroughly like, legal. Wait. It's extremely legal. Yeah, yeah. Okay, oyster gloves. Um, <laughs> um, and then he just kind of goes back and he's like, okay, um, has nothing more to say on the matter, but, um, knows your misdeeds, at least in regards to oysters. Um, but it's fair. It's fair. you make your way to the dock where you see, um, um, I almost said Frit Yolf and I'm like, oh no, this Uh-oh, took a no, not that guy. You see Ivan Frey, who looks like he's currently tending to the boat. And he looks over and he's like, not too late. Yeah. Um, uh, come on. All right. Uh, hustle on to the boat. Um, is there uh, any position any of us should take or have you got things under control? Um, I can I, I can handle most of it, but um, uh, if I need anything, I'll be sure to ask and, and show you um, as he kind of like glances over the group and then kind of makes the assumption that nobody is exactly um, super um, in the sea legs department. Um, yeah, that, that would be accurate as an actually, assumption. Actually, if you, if you could help me learn uh, on our trip, uh, just whatever tips you could give me, I'd be a valuable skill, I'm sure. Um, I'll, 
I'll try to give that info while we're going, um, mostly in case I am rendered incapacitated and somebody else has to start, you know. Um, working the boat. So yeah, what are we useful. doing? Well, we've got a map. Uh, that's a rough approximation. Uh, mm. Gorbion, do you have that? Yep. Uh, and his drawing should suffice as he's been. Makes his own little map. He's like, here you go. Um, Ivan sort of looks over the map. And what are we looking for in particular? Tower under the water. Apparently a place for us to all jump off into the freezing cold water and hopefully return back to you shortly. We have a means to get us up to the surface quickly from the bottom. Um, He glances at your wrist and he's like, yeah, if you're not dead. uh... If we're not dead. I suppose, I I don't know exactly how long we could expect to be in this place. Probably longer than an hour, but um, we certainly wouldn't want to keep you from uh, your more legitimate business um, or your more regular business. Um, We'll decide on a time when we get there, when I should just, you know, go. Yeah, yeah. But... Sure, why not? Let's go. Um, And he uh, grunts and stands up and he starts preparing the boat and you all begin to move forward. One of the um, first boats, it seems to hit the water, but you can see that other people have started to come out. Um, And you make your way out. He kind of takes a glance at the map and he's like, we could... uh, I think I could get you around this area by tomorrow morning-ish. But finding something underwater will involve probably being underwater. And this is a large area to search. Hmm. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah. Thank you. And you begin forward. For some of you and or all of you, this is the furthest out (laughs) on a boat Um, you have been as um, you go forward and you just watch as the coastline, just the details start to dim and fade as the sun comes out. Um, The water today seems to be pretty good. Um, It is a clear day. doesn't seem to be any clouds in the sky. The snow seems to have stopped for the time being. Um, Wind not being a pain in the ass. And you push forward. Occasionally, um, Ivan will be be like, so this, and like walk over to something and try to casually explain it and then have to re-explain it and then um, kind of give up and then go about it but you're starting to get vague ideas at least of how this works i am shadowing ivan and uh trying to build a relationship with him build a rapport of uh people uh, what julian oh i was just saying just like you're over his shoulder like we're bonding <laughs> yeah. oh uh, yeah I, I, it's okay we're bonding yeah just uh just so you you take fish from these waters uh what how much do you normally get you don't have a crew how do you bring them in oh i um it's not exactly like a big business per se it's just um kind of more of a hobby and it gives me some coin to work with and I don't want to take up the party's time with RP here, uh, but like I, Fen is definitely trying to bond with this guy. Uh, just spend some time with another person of a like outdoors that's a completely different sort of outdoors than he's used to. 
he um he seems willing to talk most of the time especially because it is um it's not rough seas um and you're able to shadow him and you have a vague idea of what's going on on the boat um you push forward and the day seems to be going um <laughs> fuck uh sorry the private chat is 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 good shit sometimes guys um we just get a patreon just to post we should snippets from the private chat we should um give me money to see the five dollars or more you get to see the private chat during you can give me money Um, yeah yeah but you push through the day without much impediment um while out you do pass many of these like spires that jut out of the ground um sort of like these gnarled black rocks um also referred to sometimes as the fingers um and you all continue out and the day seems to be passing pretty uneventfully um is there anything you wanted to do at sea or is it you know survive and get where we're going which is you know always the theme Survive and get where we're going. Perfect. Probably, yeah, I think so. I can't imagine there's a heck of a lot. I think Nana is keeping an eye to the horizon and just keeping an eye out for anything that seems to be an indication of an underwater tower. I don't know. Nana knows Um, it's over near the fingers, but that's all. That's all. um, Roll a perception check. Sure. Sure. It's a shitty perception check, but at least I'm good at perception. Um, eh, uh, 15. Okay. Um, looking around, um, nothing seems to catch your eye. And you also take into account as you're looking, you're like, yeah, it's like 30 miles out. The water's going to be deep. Mm-hmm. If this tower is visible, you would be shocked if it was something you could see from a boat. That makes sense. If it was something you could see from a boat, somebody probably would have done something about it by now. Probably so, yeah. I guess maybe looking out for, like, signs of corrupted fish would be more productive. Oh, also, I did want to talk about this because you guys keep bringing up corrupted fish. Living things don't get corrupted. That would be horrifying. Yeah, dead that would be fish awful. can get mm. corrupted. If you saw a live fish, like with corruption, like physically on its body, that would be a game changer. Everything's oh, changed. Oh, with no. Nana, it was a corrupted, um, like species inside of her body. It was not. It was not a together type thing. Like, could there oh, be like okay. a corrupted worm inside of a fish? Maybe. Um, no, okay. But living things do not corrupt. Yeah, but but surely okay. fish die. Well, if you're looking for dead fish, yeah, I'm just saying last session <laughs> no. you had a live fish that you asked if there were signs of corruption. So I just wanted to oh, okay. reiterate. Okay. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Dead fish, 100%. If you see a dead fish, look at that shit. <laughs> Burn it. Uh, mm. <laughs> well, keeping an eye out for dead fish then. Yeah, not 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 a super large amount, and like That's it's good. like oh, it's all the way over there, and um, mm. nothing seems to be standing out in that department um, of corrupted beings out at sea. Um, uh, you see, he takes out a a lantern and sort of hooks it up near the front of the boat, and he's like, oh, "I like staying up, so I'll take all the watches." And he kind of like laughs and. <laughs> basically gets comfortable um, steering the ship. Can we compare scars at this point? I w- <laughs> Roll charisma. <laughs> if you're at scar comparing level, that's a big step in <laughs> it. Was a jaw, it was a Jaws reference. It was a Jaws reference. Nope, nope. We got to see if we're comparing it now. It's interesting. So that was a, I, got a, I got a two. So, um, not quite there yet. We're not there yet, but maybe he's one like, day. Mine's <laughs> embarrassing. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I can't show you. And you're like, oh, okay. That's fair. Understood. <laughs> Hold on. Does Garbion have a different scar that we don't know about? <laughs> no, I was saying for him, oh. not. Okay, okay, okay. 
he can't show you his butt scar. It's embarrassing. <laughs> Looks like a little heart. Very strange. Um, <laughs> what uh, kind of fish did that? Um, but the night is soon upon you. Um, are you doing shifts of any kind, just so I'm aware? Nana is definitely going to be taking a shift uh, just to kind of help keep an eye out. If, you know, our good captain is piloting the ship, somebody's got to keep an eye out for other stuff. Yeah. I'll, I'm... I'll meditate from like eight to midnight and then I'll be up the rest of the time. I'm, I'm expediting. Um, mm -hmm. I rolled to see if there was an issue and there is none. Huzzah. Um, as as you progress through the night and the Jarl stands um, basically the whole time um, Power just house. seeming enamored by being out at sea, eyes forward, always looking at the horizon. Um, I don't know if we asked or uh, if it was specifically stated. Is he a human? Yes, he is okay. a human. All right. um, or at least appears to be. You never know what people are up to, but it's a human. Uh, there we go. Um, mm -hmm. But the next day approaches, um, gets to be around um, 10 a.m. And he brings the sail down so you're not, you know, full speed ahead and sort of looks out. And you all look out at the nothing. Um, there are jagged rocks that protrude and you can only imagine how long these rocks are um, that are still sticking out of um, out of the water here this deep in the ocean. Um, but that's all you see right now is just jagged black rocks. Um, here you go. It's around here somewhere it's definitely further than we would have gotten otherwise thank you very much ivan yeah, just tell me what you want to do i'll keep moving or how you plan to find this thing uh for the smooth brain mac uh were we given any indication about like how far away from this area we might expect to need to look or is it General you were given the approximation that it is somewhere in this area. Okay. Vaguely. Nana, I had a thought. Mm. Did it hurt? <sighs> Thank you so much, Roshan. I'm trying to be productive. <laughs> um, <laughs> What's that? I'm sure that where we're going has things that are less than desirable. The sort of things that you have a sense for. And maybe you could tell if there were any present or how close we might be to any of them within a certain range mm. with some of your abilities as a monster hunter. I can certainly do my best. Um, uh, Nana would like to kind of cast her senses out and... Um, See what she can sense. Uh, given we're not seeing a ton of dead critters around, uh, maybe the corruption won't wind up throwing that sense off too much. Maybe it will. Um, let me see. I'm trying to remember exactly which uh, ability I'm drawing from for this. I think that's going to be... Uh, Well, sorry. Um, it's fine. If anybody else wants to do anything to assist or um, make sure you are close enough for it to work, I do believe you can like either meditate long enough that like the the mileage increases, but I could be mistaken. I believe that that's the case. Yeah. Um, I'm uh, probably in feet or um, I believe, features. Yeah. I, yeah. I think it goes uh, out like six miles. Uh, 
but this will still come down to a perception check. So if there's any assists. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I would, uh, I'd like to assist Nana uh, with whatever ranger skills I have, even though we're out at sea. And so I'm, what kinda... I'm saying is not, um, not trying to give her advantage. I'm saying you guys might have to like throw magic or do something to assist viewing it has to be something more specific because it is a a rock hundreds of feet below the water mm. yeah hundreds so if there was of something feet. to assist there or even i'm like you know bardic like i'm just seeing if anybody else is throwing things on there while nana tries to find this on her character sheet <laughs> um i think roshan would wait and see if she needed help. Okay. Okay. I would say, I mean, once she rolls, yeah, the bardic does not get to be in play. I'm so sorry. I'm having a bear of a time here. I apologize, guys. Uh, you looking it's... under features and traits? Yes, I am. Well, I'm on character. I'm on Tordrex page, so why not? Um... But it's not. You, you get you favored got foes, right? Yeah, but that's when I hit an enemy with an attack. Okay. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm... Don't mind us, guys. We're looking up this thing. Sorry, um, folks. Bear I want to know us. if there's anything else anybody is doing or attempting to find this place, um, even with their own capabilities. Ayla, I can <clears throat> throw in the uh, uh, the all-seeing lantern, uh, but I think that only goes out to like 30 feet. And that's also for invisibility. And, and I don't think I'd be able to take that underwater because I think it works by having it lit. Yeah, no. Um, you yeah. you cannot take the lantern underwater. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the best I got is Bardic Inspiration. Uh, and you can have that if it comes down to a uh, perception check. Also, Guidance. Huh? Guidance and bardic inspiration uh, okay. if it comes down to a perception check. This maybe it was a spell you had. And now you don't have it anymore. Uh or it was something when that you switched out was... things for the for the newer stuff. You don't have it anymore. There was, there was something on her sheet that detected undead aberrations. I'm aware it's just currently not there. Yeah. I'm just not finding it. I might have wound up swip it, uh, swapping it out. Uh, I don't know. Uh, at the very least, I can... I don't know. I've got nothing that goes out past 60 feet so far as I can see right now, guys. Sorry. So you may have to find a different approach to this. Mm. Shit. Uh, Sadly, that seems to be the case. Okay. Then um, it's probably going to have to come down to just exploration. Um, we could... tie a rope onto one of the um, light sticks and drop it down as far as we can see. Uh, I don't know that trawling it behind us for any great distance would do us much good, but um, presumably if this is a tower and it hasn't collapsed under the waves, it would stick up a good way off of the floor of the ocean. Do we know about how deep down it is here, Ivan? Um, 
around here, if I had to guess, at least 600. Hmm. So I can't really put down anchor. I will have to just meander. Of course, of course. Well, um, we're we're pretty close up on the fingers at the moment, aren't we? Oh, they've been around, I wouldn't say constantly, mm -hmm. um, but you are in a a cluster of them in, in uh, many a direction as they are okay. smattered across the water. All right. Uh, is there any one of them that looks a good bit different from the others that we could use as a landmark? I'm going to have to just uh, go ahead and say no. No, nah, okay. No, nah, that's fair. They are all just jagged black rock spires. Hmm. Okay. You could mark one of them, but they are not so different that you could you feel confident using one as a landmark compared to the others. Well, all right. Um uh the the fingers are made of what? Stone? Yep. That's what uh, it looks to be. All right. Uh Fen, can I borrow your bow and um, a plane arrow? Uh, absolutely. Uh, Nana would like to uh, shoot an arrow into... Uh, I would assume we're close enough to one that it would be within bow shooting distance. You could convince Ivan, but he tells you he can't get much closer than that. That's fair. Um, That's fair. Getting near I, them seems dangerous. I I could shoot it for you. I can shoot pretty accurately from a great distance. Well, it, by all means, then. Specialist must specialize. Uh, that one right there, if you can get uh, just about yay off the surface of the water, should be visible at least for a ways. Um, wish we had something to tie onto it to make it stand out a little more, but I don't want to deprive us of one of our glow sticks i brought string but i did not bring hundreds of feet of string i mean so. I got rope, but... a man only has so much string mm. so you're welcome to take a shot at this rock it may chip it that's kind of um probably what you'll get all right i will take a shot at this rock with the yeah, with sharpshooter, hoping it does a little extra penetration. I, I want this rock to bleed. <laughs> <laughs> I will squeeze blood from this stone. Okay. Um, Nat one. It's just in the distance. God damn. The rock wins again. With, no. With, with sharpshooter, that's a that's a fourteen to hit. Okay. I mean, it's a, it's a big unmoving rock. You are on a rocking boat, but like, it's gonna hit it. Um, it sort of hits on the side and you watch like a little bit of the rock sort of crumple off on the end as the arrow dips into the water and is gone forever. Um, All right, it's the one with the chip on it. That's the one we're looking for. Um, you look at the <laughs> chip. Does it look and different? Barely, but you can see that it has a slight red tint compared to the black tint. Oh, fuck, we've pissed it off. No, <laughs> now it's mad. <laughs> oh no! Well, if you just shoot random things, it might piss them off. You know. Uh, All right, I guess we reason. gather at the pissed off finger if anything goes wrong. Ivan's like that makes sense. Uh, sure. <laughs> I'm. Um, it's what we've got. Should for I just the time start being. moving around? I don't know how we're gonna see this thing. Um, I think at this point, uh, we have to send someone down to look, unfortunately. I don't see much other option. Not really. Um, I suppose we may as well at least make for one or two people to go. All right, uh, um... I don't like one person going alone, but... I don't know if Nana no longer has this on her on her abilities I list. I think she traded it. I think she traded okay. it. For she, I have primary. I have primeval awareness. Yeah, I, think I can I expend did an action that. and one ranger spell slot. So within a mile, I can tell if there are any 
no, aberrations, don't. celestials, dragons, elementals, fae, fiends, or undead. Sure. Okay. I will do that. I'll spend a spell slot to see if there are any of those within a mile. Within a mile. So many fae. In the, there's like tw- 63 fey. Shit. Oh. <laughs> and one and one God damn it. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I understand why I went for primal awareness instead of primeval awareness. Because yeah, primeval you, awareness was just like, it's all corruption all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Not knowing that there would be a boat adventure. Um, <laughs> I had no idea. I had no way of knowing. You know, it happens sometimes. Sometimes there's a boat. Um mm-hmm. Um, Fen, it's going to be the same situation. You're going to first. I would like a um, a luck check. Okay. This is a 15 on the die. I don't think I add anything to a luck check, so it's a 15. Um, and let's see how many miles. One, six. Uh, it? One mile, unless I'm in my favorite terrain, and I am absolutely not in my favorite terrain. Um, go ahead and give me a perception check. Uh, now that we know, uh, can I add a, uh, yes, um, it was talked about, so you can add a bardic if you would like to. A bardic and a guidance. Okay. So it's so a, a, just, a D8 I, and a what? D4. And a D4. D8 and a D4. All right. That is seven. In total? Seven in total. Uh, seven added to the whatever I just said I rolled. I'd... I don't know. Oh, uh, to my 17. Oh, uh, yep. so seven plus 17. All right. So 24. Yep. yep. 24. Thank you um, for paying more attention than I did, Josh. God bless um, you, Josh. It is. I got three currently... D20s side by side here. So um, currently, you don't see anything. Nothing is pinging right now as you look around the sides and Ivan sees you start to look and is like I'm going to I'm going to start going forward. Yeah. All right, I yeah, I, that could be a good sign or a bad sign. It could be that we're nowhere near it or it could be that it's we are near it and it's not as bad as we thought it would be. How long does it last? Somehow I don't know. Uh it doesn't give a duration here. Uh it's just like a ping, I so think. So it's just a ping. You ping outwards, you do not feel anything. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So slowly the boat begins to crawl forward and you can decide how much you want to use this, I guess. I'd I'd rather not keep doing this. Um, I have to think my energy is better spent elsewhere, potentially. Um, can we think of any better ways to find this? It seems like we might be limited to just going down and, or at least having someone on a line behind the boat as we go, someone who can see down there. It's bound to be dark, so I wish I could volunteer, but I doubt I'd be useful. It's gonna, it's going to be very dark and I'm not sure. All right. Um, It'll also be a bit dangerous to be pulled by the boat in the dark underwater. It's not, the, the sea floor isn't going to be clear. Mm. And things do live down there. Right. <sighs> Shit. I hate everything about this. Uh, remind me, when we get back to shore, I've got people we need to put arrows into. Well, assuming that we don't wind up in jail for doing so. That's uh, well, uh, you won't like being in jail, Fen. I certainly would not. Uh, I have like, all people. Darl just casually standing there next to you guys as you talk about homicide. Um, <laughs> he's like, there was somebody looking. What are we doing? <sighs> I don't know. Uh, What do you all think? It seems to me like we're going to just need to go down there and start looking. I don't have any better ideas. 
Go, Bjorn. Sorry, I was muted for a while. It's all right. They're struggling to find the tower. <laughs> the emotional struggle. The emotional um, struggle. The geographical it's, struggle. It's super, it's really not that hard. Then you, you guys oh. should find it. Oh, sorry. They're talking about something else. Oh. Uh-huh. Well, how deep are we? I um, doesn't matter how deep you are. You find the tower, you get the... Never mind. No. Uh, it, I mean, we've got a maximum depth possibly of about 600 feet. We're on the surface now. It'd take a while for us to get down there. But at least we've got a quick release back up. Should we go in... I don't want us to be going in shifts down there. I feel like it's got to be all of us and none, or else in pairs. Uh, Roshan, the the water breathing that you have, the, uh, it's cast as a ritual? Uh, it's a scroll, no, it's a scroll. Can a spell be cast as a ritual from a scroll? Nope. And this is the only chance we've got. We shouldn't be spending our time underwater with a... <clears throat> with a scroll spell. We've got to find it from up here and then go down. Right. Or we only have a day to do it. Yeah. Okay, so we have two options. We can we can keep going around and using your spell slots to try and find it, or we can cast this right now and go down and look for it. That's fine. No, my spell slot didn't find it within 5,280 feet. And we can cast that, and we've got mm -hmm. 24 hours to do it. Well, do we we've got eight hours uh, with the... Uh, eight hours, okay. Uh, so not, not the, even a day. With the salve to keep us warm. Yeah, exactly. Um, so right. maybe casting my spell slots from up here might be the better option. Sounds like... At least for the time being. Let's Is get, there a um, way we can triangulate a bit more? Um, get more towards the center of the fingers or something? Um, Ivan sort of like froze his brow. No, but I'll, I'll try something. If All we right. can at least get reads from different areas around here, perhaps at least far enough apart that we won't wind up overlapping. And I'll just try to get you a mile and we'll start seeing if we can catch anything on the edges. Thank you. Not a not a magic guy, not a not a fine tower underwater guy. Um, Neither are we, and yet here we are. <laughs> and the boat pushes forward. Um, eventually I would say I'm not going to make this the most difficult thing in the world, being like, is it a mile? Where are we? Um, you are in what you would consider an advantageous spot to try again. Uh, I will. can I start off with the hammer and just being like, nine sisters, guide us, and just like, kind of like spin in circles with the hammer. Like <laughs> Starts fully spinning. Um, <laughs> Does it help? Does he puke? What do I do? Um, <laughs> um, go ahead and roll. Just roll religion for me. Oh, Basically I a luck love check. love that. Yes. Basically um, a luck check. Oh, that looks good, but it's just pretty writing. Four. You spin and spin and call out um, to the nine sisters and um, the hammer, it, it sings in the air. Like it almost just has like a beautiful sound as it moves around and around. And the Jarl has stepped back as far as mm -hmm. he physically can. That's fair. Uh, you don't want to get knocked into the water. And Roshan, you, it feels like as you stand there and watch, watch the show you hear one um and you watch as the shadow pushes past you um and approaches gorbjorn mm. 
Can you watch the shadow? Uh, he'll keep. Mm -hmm. uh, he's just going to keep watching the shadow. <laughs> you watch yeah. the shadow. It looks like they breathe in. And they breathe out. And it's almost like pulses. Like looking in a similar way Fen did. And then you watch the shadow hand snap forward and grab the hammer and stops it dead in place. Holy shit. The, the hammer you watch Gorbjorn like fully jerk to a stop. Holy shit! Oh and the hammer is pointing in a direction. Gorbjorn! Fantastic! Smug his face like he planned this the whole time. <laughs> of course. Of course he does. Muggest fucking face. He's like, yeah, I fucking <laughs> did it. <laughs> um, so uh, well, you may done. have a direction. Well, let's give it a try. Why not? Nine sisters wanted us out this way anyway. Hopefully they'll be of some help. Thanks, Nine uh, Sisters. Yeah. Let's head in that direction. Um, get a suitable distance away from our original location and try to try to use Fen again. Action, use Fen. <laughs> um, uh, what are we here for? Yarl looks kind of like um, like like fuck. Like he looks shocked that it all worked, I guess. Yeah. And he, we are too. <laughs> they've they've got skills. They're they're very good. Um, turns the boat a bit and starts going in the direction that the nine sisters saw fit uh, to continue. And you I'm go sure on for a bit. And Roshan, you feel a gentle tap on your shoulder. Uh, Roshan will turn away from the group and say, do, do you want credit? Mm -hmm. Let them have their fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see, I thought that was me tapping on Roshan's shoulder to be like, you slept with my girl. <laughs> it's time to duel. <laughs> um, it's time to do, 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 do. Tell him to try again. Uh, Roshan will turn back to the group and say, Gorbjorn, why don't you try that again? Sorry, he was he was motioning to Finn. Oh, Finn, why don't you try that again? <laughs> you that other point thing. over to Finn. It, okay. it's like starts out at Gorbian. Uh, yeah. Finn. <laughs> Your hand is casually pushed. No, 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 uh -huh. no. no. Uh, mm, mm. All right, <laughs> Finn. Finn, seeing that you slept with my girl, uh, and tries again. <laughs> Nobody knows that they slept together. I know, I know. I'm just playing. Only um, Tordrecht. Only Tordrecht. Only <laughs> Tordrecht knows in his wanna, divine, all-seeing holy coma. A spell slot and a perception check is what you want? Yes, please. And I'll give you uh, pers uh, the two extra dice again. All right. So, uh, okay, well, I got an 18 on the die plus six and plus the two extra dice. Extra dice. Yep. So... Ooh. I uh, hope that gets the nightmare more. numbers we can so make. So that's a 28 total. Hell yeah. yeah. And for the first time on this uh, weary trip at sea, there is something else with you in the water. What you uh, feel. What is it? You feel undead. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. You feel it nearby. That's awesome because mm. we've always used fire to kill those. But uh, uh -huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, strange. Hmm. Wonder Everyone, how we're gonna deal with that. To look. Everyone, I'm I'm sure our time here is short because the DM is gonna say that we'll rejoin this next time. But they're they're undead somewhere. In this direction. Oh, I'm not done yet. I'm not done with you fuckers oh, yet. <laughs> oh, awesome. Not cool. fucking done with y'all. Cool. I'm I'm all on board minutes. for that. <laughs> all right. Let's get time. it, boy. Fantastic. Is it 
can you can you tell how far? It depends on. Uh, uh, I, I'm trying to feel. Uh, can I tell how far they are? I don't believe it tells you how far they are, but it, it no, did it's not within feel, a mile. <laughs> it's within a mile, but it no. did not feel. It did not feel like it was near the edges. Okay. Oh. I can say that much. It did not feel like it was at the edge of your mile. It's within the bounds of the mile. All right, well, so it has to be, but it seems closer than the edges. Fair. Maybe if we get below the water and look for a big fucking tower. At least we're close enough that we should be able to catch sight of it visually. All right. How does uh, the water look? Is it pretty clear? Like, I mean, like as far as ocean water goes? Roll for the water today. Okay. Um, a bit cloudy out. Um, um, you can't see incredibly far into the water. It's not far at all. <laughs> well, that's going to be great for me. Somebody better be leading me the whole way, I guess. Awesome. Uh, you've got glow sticks, and, and Roshan has a cantrip that he can just cast light on. Just make him cast light on your spear. It'll go a ways. Doesn't my or Tordric's hammer glow? I do not think it ca- it has light as part of it. I could be mistaken, but I don't think it does. For sure. It just does extra damage on crits and um, can swing in the water. Well, like you say, we've got the glow sticks and light if it comes to that, if we run out of those. Well, so I, we should all stay fairly close to one another anyways. Uh, yeah, rather think so. Should we, I don't know, should we tie one of us to another um, in case we get blown about by tides or what have you, currents? Well, um, Roshan, do you, you can control water to some degree, can you not? Uh, a small amount. At least it, as applies to keeping us together. Yeah. Yeah, I should be able to help in that uh, in that area. Well, we, could, we could also just hold on to a rope, tie a rope in a big loop and keep together that way. In fact, I could tie a rope to that and we could potentially put a rope trick on it if we need to get out of danger quickly. Not a bad idea. It'll be like that time we went up north. Eh. Mm. I don't want things to go the way they did when we went up north. No. I wasn't a fan of that. (sighs) But at the very least, let's, um, let's get started. Yes. Um, can't be far at this so Rosh- point. Roshan, go uh, ahead. Roshan will pull out the uh, the scroll, the spell scroll for water breathing, and start mm-hmm. casting that uh, while we all slather up our bodies with. While everybody goops up. Yep. Um, everybody got a goop. Let's get goopy. Let's get who goopy up is, in here. Who is removing their armor? Nana's wearing light uh, yeah. leather armor, so I think she's going to stick with that. I'm gonna yeah, leave I think my everyone's in light or not. I'm, yeah, I'm gonna leave my leather armor. There on as is well. still a check if you try to swim upwards with light armor and whatnot, but um, you have a big flotation wrist device, so you know. I was about wait. to say that sounds like probably yeah. the most important thing for us to have. So and of your own accord, having to like frantically try to swim upwards, there would be a roll. Um, okay. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I, I just need to know I, if somebody is taking off their armor. Not I. I didn't bring a change of clothes, so I'm I'm wearing the armor. I only assume you have something on under your armor, but everybody. I would have armor. hoped so. No, it's, it's only leather breast armor. Plates. It's basically plates. clothing. You guys it's are wearing armor. armor. <laughs> yeah, Gorbjorn it's only chest and knees. Shit. Everything else is out. It's been that way the whole time. It's keeping it. Uh, but the um, you slather this gunk all over your bodies, um, and it does. It's kind of like icy hot in the sense of like it gets really cold at first because you know you just put like something wet on your body, but then it like heats up a bit 
And there's just like a radiating of warmth around your bodies. And Roshan, you cast Breathe Underwater. Um, and I will, I'll tell Ivan, would you be willing to wait for us for 36 hours? I can do 36 hours. Roshan, I appreciate you, it. Could you remind me the parameters of the spell that you just cast on us? We can breathe underwater for 24 hours. All right, can we speak underwater? Uh, yeah. All right, thank you so much. I'm not a monster. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> I'm not a fucking monster. Good thing. I mean, um, I'm sure Nana and Fen could, like, ad hoc not like you can, sign like, language, but... Yeah, I was humongous distances, but you yeah, can communicate. Yeah, yeah, communicating. Nana and Fen could have probably done that. Like, I was worried about verbal components of spells. No, that's fine. <laughs> okay. okay, good, 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 good. That should cool. not be impeded. Thank Fantastic. you so much. You are a benevolent DM. I mean, if you can breathe, you can talk. Uh, <laughs> that's my opinion. <laughs> mm, um, makes sense. And all of you dive in. Hoop, away we go. Uh, Nana is just gonna go ahead and like the glow sticks last an hour, an an hour, mm. an hour. Not Roshan gonna pop one off right away. Light, but... um... Yeah, yeah. Roshan casts light on your spear. Okay, cool. Thank that, you. And it lights that bitch up. Um, well, all right. And in you go. Force flashes. And there is a moment for all of you where, first off, it's still cold. Don't get me yeah. wrong. It is still very, very cold. We're very used um, to being cold, though. But mm. th there is a moment where all of you have a moment of panic um, as you begin to swim deeper and deeper. And it gets to the point where you've kind of instinctually been holding your breath. And it gets to the point where it's like, here it is. We, we, if it works. Um, and in a panic, you take a breath underwater and it's horrifying. And like the feeling of um, water filling your lungs, also horrifying. Um, but you don't drown and you keep swimming. Yeah. Let's go. I just motioned to Nana, like, you don't get used to this. <laughs> no, you don't. I'm noticing um, that with every breath. <laughs> and you make your way lower and lower. Is there anything you wanted to do as you just sink? Basically, the light is all you have. Like, Nana, past that, you got nothing. It is becoming pitch black down here. Um, oh and the rest of you, sight is a bit limited compared to your normal sight distances. Makes sense. You got cloudy water complicating things. Cloudy skies up above. Yeah. Uh, but as you progress, there is um, you can see shadows move around and some things come into the light a bit and then get scared and then swim out. You see fish um, moving in the periphery of um, of the light around the edges and you sink deeper and deeper and deeper you know it's hundreds of feet but it's kind of hard to tell how deep you actually are you can't see the top you can't see the bottom it is just you in this bubble of light did anyone you want to try a perception check i would like to try yeah. a perception check i'll take two perception checks i help 21 Nine. You want some help with that? No, no. Either <laughs> Gorgio, no, never mind. Two dice hit the table is, is what I was looking for. Um, Roshan, it's... This is spooky. This is the spookiest <laughs> shit. And you're like, you start to look out, but then, you know, when you stare into the darkness too long, your mind starts to just decide what's there. And you're like, hmm. I don't want to do that. Um, so... <laughs> So you kind of keep it a bit more internal. Um, 
Fen, you have a longer distance with dark vision anyways. It is impeded, but you look around and as you progress deeper and deeper, the shadows become larger, some moving and some not. Some you believe are probably some of the spires sinking into the earth, making just huge blocks of shadows around you. Um, You see the occasional thing move by in the darkness, but nothing seems to be advancing on you. That doesn't seem to be anything's intention currently. Um, Roshan would like to ask the Mm -hmm. shadow as we're sinking deeper, Uh um, just kind of a a whisper uh, in its general direction and say, does any of this seem familiar? No, but I am interested. I think you should be excited to be here. And there is just... Can... Uh-huh. Are we going to do that uh, and thing around the tower? We, we do in the dozy dough around the tower and it's like... We'll see. I feel something interesting. Love Every, everyone be on the lookout for gelatinous tubes. That was the last thing that happened when we were under water like this. That's true, it was, you were attacked by a gelatinous tube. Uh, it was unpleasant. <laughs> it was. I was not a fan. Um, and deeper and deeper until Fen, you think you can see the bottom. You can see where there is um, beds of rock and coral sort of gnarled up in chunks along the floor. Some fauna that is able to survive down here moving in the current. Um, Most of the shadows that move seem to briskly move away from you. Um, They don't seem interested in all of you and your big light. having no intention to stay close. Um, And your role was like in the 20s, right? Uh, 21 or 22, something like that. Yeah, something like that. Um, And you scan. Following rock formations. And there's a smoothness to most of them or a towering sense to them um, as they shoot up towards um, the sky but eventually a different shape becomes visible a shadow Um, it looks like jagged broken rocks um, and you can see it in the distance looks just slightly different than everything else I think we're nearing the bottom, uh, but there's something off that way. Come, come along. All right. Um, then you lead the way. Roshan, what's what's the distance of your light spell? If you were to take it off an honor spear and and cast it ahead, what? What distance would it go? Is it touch? I think light's touch, right? It's touch. Oh, okay. yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm no bard. Um, this way. I I, could, we could cast it on a rock and you could sling it, but... I don't think it would go very far under the water. But, right. Um, you progress. Uh, uh yeah yeah okay let's do it moving for it your light goes dimly out to 40 feet or 60 feet it uh bright 20 and dim 40 yeah okay um eventually you get to a point where the light starts to bleed on to this jagged shape. 
Um, <clears throat> and now getting a look at it. It looks different because it is not natural rock. It looks like it was once, who knows how long ago, perfect rows of stone placed in a cylindrical shape, uh, but now just turned into what looks like um, a mouthful of broken teeth that just jut up from the ground. Um, maybe about <clears throat> the tallest piece, maybe eight feet tall. And along it, you can see growths on the rock formation, um, the jagged ones, and on the pieces around where it looks like bits of coral have formed. And then something soft. And as the light cascades over it, Attached to it along with the coral, it looks like bodies, as if it has become part of just the nature here. Multiple bodies stuck to the stone, coral growing from the stone to their faces. And they sit there unmoving until the light grazes over one of their eyes and the eye pops open white and milky um as it looks around its mouth opens and you see it trying to move but it is currently stuck to the stone ew gross very gross not a fan. Oh, am I attacking the floor? <laughs> Holding the hammer. Am I? What am I doing? Um, you can see that. So there is like a vague idea of a circle um, where this tower maybe once was or fell or is. But on the outside, you can see that there are these beings, barely beings. Um, you don't know what it's like on the inside, though. From what you can see currently, Fen, you don't see any on the inside section. Right, so is this a hole in the ground, or are we at the top of a... We're at the top it looks of like a... you are currently looking at a pile of rocks and um, silt and a circle of jagged rocks. You don't see a hole. You don't see anything. It's like a pile of rocks yeah. in there. Right, Throw everyone, a light in there. Everyone, stop. That's not a terrible idea. Throw it. Throw Sean, can you throw a light in there? Sure. I'll do it. Uh, I... Yeah. Uh, for Sean, roll strength. <laughs> uh, well, oh, yeah. I'm so good. I, I want to see I, it. I can, I can, I can, you can cast it on one, one of my arrows. I rolled a bastard one. Mm. Sexy. Um, <laughs> it lands mm. directly at your feet, illuminating you. Um, is light Here, concentration? Ben, you take it. <laughs> um, I don't believe so. Um, the cantrip? Are there are there concentration cantrips? Yeah, there are. Oh, no. are there? Uh, it is not. Okay. Okay. Um, That's yeah. You have this rock with light cast on it. Scorpion, uh, you throw it. Yes, yeah, Scorpion, by, by all means. Go ahead. Please, definitely. You've got the strongest throwing arm out of the lot of us. Swinging his hammer around. He's like, huh? Oh. What's up, boys? Yeah. Oh, what? Like punching water. Like, yeah, it's like mm, not yeah. that different. <sighs> Getting used to the physics of it. Um, oh, yeah. You're handed a rock to throw. Yeet it into that window. Um, gotcha. Yeet. Into window. You point at just two jagged pieces that are vaguely close to each other, and they're like, that's a window enough for me. Uh, we'll call it window enough. Um, what do we got? What do we got, Gorbjorn? What I get my proficiency with this. Throwing sure, I'll rock. give you rock proficiency. Got you. <laughs> He's thrown plenty of rocks. Okay. So that this would man's be thrown a rock. 15. 
Okay. Um, you didn't have to throw it super far. You just, you know, had to get it past your feet. Um, mm. And sort of kind of up and over as the rock does its damnedest to make distance. And it gets to, I would say, the edge of the structure. So it adds more light to what you're looking at currently. Um, inside, it looks to be um, piles of this stone, this like smooth carved stone. And it kind of covers the, the floor, we'll say, the floor of the water, the floor of the ocean. Um, so there's the spikes around the edge, the pile in the center, and you don't see any of these things on the inside. Or at least along the inside of the walls. They're just on the outside. Can we, from where we're at, can we swim up and over these things to get inside? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, you guys could go around them. They're stuck. Yeah, let's, you could let's leave them up be. and in. Yeah. Um, you make your way forward and <laughs> sort of arch around them. As your light grows closer, you see that there are about eight of these lumps that you can see, and they are all very aware of you and your presence, but all of them are stuck firm. Um, all of them, you see gentle movements of like the head or the hands. They just cannot seem to get unstuck to get to you, but it kind of has the intention to it. Cool. I just, speaking of intentions, if any of them end their turn within five feet of me i would like to my intention is to disengage and go we are not in turns further. i would okay. say okay i'm just saying <laughs> we are not in a turn situation so uh, i hit the ground now um you guys enter the center of this tower um and the ground is just caved in stone you don't see any openings. It's just a pile, we, of, like a, a lot of rocks, like a lot of this stone. Can we take a, a closer look and see if we can find any? Um, Sure, you can roll investigation. I would like to help do that. Roshan do that. Yeah, advantage for Roshan. Uh, so, there we go. Faster 20. Okay. Um, you start to poke around a bit and have to like kind of get people to come over to start lifting rock so you can actually get a look because it is just a, a solid floor of it. So your friends come over, start lifting and moving as you try to look in the small spaces beneath. And eventually you see something sort of lean in a bit and you grab like the glowing rock and you can like move it in to see better. And there is an opening. It is strange at first as your brain tries to understand what it's looking at. This, this pathway that goes downwards and you realize it's a stairwell. Um, but it's I think wrong. I found it's wrong. It's, it's wrong in the sense of it's more kind of like a slide with a jagged ceiling. Um, you immediately do come to the conclusion this boy is upside down. Mm. Well, this it looks bad boy like looks strange. This, <laughs> this tower is upside down. Also, Whatever got it here, inverted it. Didn't you just have an inter in interaction with an upside down stairwell before and slid down previously? In the trap, the trap in the mansion. Oh, that wasn't an upside down. Well, no, stairwell. no, but it was. But it, but they slid. But you're down used a to slide stairwells, boys. Yeah, let's let's swim down. Awesome. I'm not going first. Yeah, I was like marching order. I'll go first. Second. 
Sorry, I was uh, muted. Me. Yeah. Me, 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 me. I was. I would have been first. Pushing. But... I, All right, I don't no, think that Roshan should be at the back. Well, no. If uh, if uh, if if uh, Gorbion's going first, I'll go last. Okay. Who's my middle people? Uh, it's probably going to be Ro and me because uh, yeah, yeah I've but only the got... order. Ah. Uh. uh I'll go after go Gorbion. Okay. Okay. All right, and I'll be behind Roshan. Gorbjorn, Roshan, Nana. You all begin to swim, pull your way through this stairwell. Um, there's the occasional rock or kind of broken structure that gets in your way and you have to squeeze past it, but it seems it was the top that took most of the damage um, in this situation and you're able to continue beneath the earth as you move forward. Do we see anything of value on our way as we squeeze through these lar- these rocks? Well, currently you're in, in the stairwell. You don't see anything of note well, in the stairwell. There's art in stairwells. No mosaics. Not in this one. Okay, I'm just saying. Like you're... That's why I'm asking. Yeah, no, I'm <laughs> telling you there's nothing here. Okay. <laughs> Not yet. Um, moving downwards, eventually it does open up into a space. Um, Gorbjorn, you're at the front. Could you give me a perception check? I'll assume you guys were kind enough to have the light stone somewhere near the front or have decided, no, no, darkness for us. Um, it's really either hmm. option. Hmm. That'd be a 13. Okay. Um, you enter into this space first, um, this submerged upside down room. Um, and it is a place of rotted barnacle laden wood and remnants of fabrics that are barely present to be seen. Um, It is a place in complete ruin. Um, This room is is near nothing. It is um, broken. There are just nasty soft pieces of wood on the floor um, that was once the ceiling. Um, And you can see where the stairs continue And um, there is a number of things in this room. It looks like, I mean, someone lived here. This looks like a space somebody could have lived in. It's in disarray as if somebody picked up, you know, your living room and then tipped it upside down. Hmm. Um, That's what it looks like, except wilted away by time. So there are piles Hmm. of things about and the stairs forward. Um, all anything of you enter the like, space and can see this. Is there anything resembling a book or something that could be construed as a journal? Or is there anything that looks like it's intact enough to be not junk? You can People can roll perception or investigation if they're interested. I would be better at perception. Can I, can I specify what sort of room does this look like? Like what like what room of someone's home does it look like um you can you can aim for that okay that's a nat 20 plus six uh for perception so uh natural 19 on the dice total 25 for perception for me okay 20 investigation all right um making your way around the space you go to like move some stuff and you're like oh, this looks like something and then it is mush that you have set free you know oh cool, cool like cool, you've cool. just destroyed its shape by existing you're like understood ah. great mm, um, cool. yep yep no that makes um, sense bottom of the sea um roshan you approach something that you think may have once been a bookcase and whatever was on there lost this battle against the sea mm. um it is it's, there's not even mush to really be spoken of. Either time eroded it or the fish ate it, um, but it's the bookcase has nothing much to be seen. Um, Fen, you take a look around the room and you try to like, you're like, that's a table. And if it was over there, it would have chairs. That looks like it could have been a chair. 
and you start taking things in and not a, you reach into some silt and you pull up something shiny because it catches your eye. Uh Uh-huh. And you are currently holding the kettle section of like a golden tea set. And after you picked it up, you look down and can see more of the pieces. Fen, you think this was a sitting room. You think this is where people were greeted. Um, It just seems like a nice place where people had tea and conversation without having to venture too far into the home. Well, this looks like it could be valuable, maybe. And there's other pieces here. Perhaps if we have something close to a full set, that might increase the value. Could be. It seems like this is a sitting room. Um, It seems like a place they would keep art. Um, We should take a double check make sure we're not forgetting anything that might fulfill the wishes of our benefactor i mean a solid gold tea kettle might qualify uh, put it put it Maybe. in the bag please uh, by all means every uh, bit can... as well um with everybody's very good perception checks and investigation checks mm-hmm. you do find some things um once again this room is 99.9 percent ruin right um, right so you see something that you're like, this was a painting once. It is now nothing. Um, yeah. And the you come have across. Gone. The canvas is gone. You come across the whole tea set. Oh, there yes. is some damage, but you get the whole tea set. Um, Fantastic. Um, Roshan, you kind of move past a bookcase and you see like a rusted thin chain and you pull it up. And it looks like it was some sort of decoration meant to dangle from the ceiling, maybe to catch the light. Um, But you see that it has different shapes of stones attached to it, stones and gems. So it's a just, it has like, um, my brain wanted to say wind catcher. It's a wind Mm. catcher, boys, you know? Oh, Uh, yeah. You know the wind catchers, my dudes? Mm. Um, But it just meant to be a nice decoration, but it's. The stones and gems seem to be in okay condition. Ah. Um, You also find um, what was maybe a bust, but did not survive the fall. Um, Ah. It is is nothing to be grabbed. Mm. And you find sections of a rug that are now basically nothing. Um, But you can see that they had square patterns across them like a square composed of smaller squares, and then it looks like the edges of the squares made a bigger square, but it kind of starts to just fall apart in your hands as you touch it. Um, Mm -hmm. Besides that, um, Nana, you got something stupid, right? And somebody rolled a nat 20. Um, I had 25 for my perception. um, Nana, Uh, as you kind of look around and like, now looking, have an eye for gold. Um, and you got mm. Gorbjorn on the hunt. Um, I mean, yeah, of course. Um, both of you sniff this out. Mm. And you find something in like a crescent moon shape. About this big. Um, mm. It has a carved face in the center. Okay. And then multiple circles within it with different patterns. Um, it seems to be okay. some sort of like hair comb or hair clip. Interesting. Uh, does the face look like, uh, I don't know, a figure of myth or a god or anything? A, I would say it is a very, very basic face. Okay. Um, so it's just it like, is, this it is, is like a, a circle with like eyes, nose, mouth in it. It's nothing, it. nothing too, nothing too intricate. General representative, not specific to a figure. Something I can upraise to this rich Yuha. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, probably. Yahoo, that's like, what I was looking for. Yeah, Yuh-ha? tell this is this is the big thing, boys. We found it. Um, oh boy! But you feel like you well, tossed thing. this room, and you yeah. can see where the stair slide is. Yeah. Well, it seems like uh, let's keep going. Yeah, we'll just need to keep moving forward. I think we've got everything we can out of here. Okay. I'm gonna say same same positions. Uh, yes, I think same positions as before. Y'all okay. good with that? Mm-hmm. I think we're yep. good. As you all continue downwards to Sorry. the next area, feeling pretty good about getting the things from here, and you're like, 
hopefully there's hopefully there's more. Um, and Gorbjorn, you lead the way, sort of pulling yourself forward and down. And then there is a strange moment, Gorbjorn, where everything changes immediately. Uh. You push off with your feet downwards, and then you're falling. The <laughs> liquid has left you, and you are falling. Oh! Um, you hit hard down about 10 feet. Um, Nana, you, uh, Roshan or Nana, I forgot. Uh, Roshan is Bro, behind Roshan Gorbjorn. Is next. You, you watch Gorbjorn go from very close to you to immediately like 10 feet away from you um, as you stop sort of like <laughs> pushing backwards in the stairwell. Gorbjorn, you fall into <laughs> a dry room. What? This room um, um, leaps and bounds above the other, the things still together. They were thrown up to the ceiling, which is now the floor, but it's not ruined. Holy you shit. You see a bookshelf that um, broke on impact, but you see the books. Um, some of them seem like they were damaged from falling, but not from time or water there is a smell of like must um in the air um a bit of dampness it's stale the air is Damp stale book smell <laughs> it's, it's, an, it's like a nasty library um a library see, in the back rooms you can see windows but the windows are completely blocked in from the outside um by rock and dirt knowing that you are beneath the earth and mm. You can see a table that had fallen, a chair, a scattering of books. You can see in one corner, it looks like there was a painting. It like snapped the frame, but you can see that there's still paint upon it and that it looks like it's whole. Holy um, shit. You can see um, a plethora of things. And the one thing as you pull yourself up, something that almost dims the room around you as you stare at it is a breastplate fully concave in the chest. It looks like something impacted it with great force enough to stab it into the stone. The, um, the armor hangs indefinitely against this stone with its caved in jagged chest. And from every direction where a limb or head would have been it is black smears in all directions, going out at least 10 feet along the wall, stained in there deep, no flesh or anything else to be seen. And you stare at this armor surrounded by black soot, ash, blood. You're unsure. And that's where we're gonna stop for tonight, boy. Go beyond, you're wrong. <laughs> Uh, thank you all water. for being. Yeah, we're in water. We're You're not. Like, oh, sweet. Huh? What? <laughs> like, this is all gonna Free shit. armor? Okay. <laughs> Free armor, you Free say? Free broken to pull it out armor of the wall? that's like trying to pull that bitch out. the chest. Um, uh, free, though. Um, I mean, sure, for being here. We appreciate it. it. We love getting to tell you guys a story. Um, and I'm sure this one won't be spooky or terrible going forward. Um, Definitely not. Definitely. Uh, no, it'll be fine. Here at the Dice Cult, we have a lot of shows going on on Tuesdays. We have Legends of the Air, run by Frank, our comatose cleric, um, who we love very much and hope will be able to join us again one day um, as we so, go into the spooky tower. We miss um, you, Frank! Um, on Wednesdays on our YouTube channel, uh, youtube.com slash the Dice Cult, we have Cordially Invited, which is a wedding story. Um, a story of a royal wedding and not a single thing has gone wrong and nobody has died and there's been no violence Absolutely um, but there not. might have been and if that's your thing you can join them uh, bi-weekly on Wednesdays I believe next week this is the off week um, um, on Wednesdays at 8 p.m eastern standard time and on Saturdays we have completed Vampire the Masquerade in the Last Remaining Light. Our story has come to a close and it kind of is surreal. Um, if you are interested in seeing how the story uh, began, 
Um, you're welcome to join us over on YouTube and you can watch every episode of this vampire story that you know as a finish. Um, or currently you could head over to Twitch to watch the latest episode, but um, this week we'll do a little post to say when it is updated and put on YouTube for your viewing pleasure. Um, this week, this Saturday, we will be taking some time off. Uh, Nathan deserves it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> the man True. deserves it. Um, and the following week, we will be having a postmortem. Um, we are going to get together and we are going to basically bombard Nathan with questions uh, we want answers to. So if you God have questions, it, Nathan. So if you have questions for us or the world, you're welcome to come ask us and just kind of chill with us. Um, and in the near future, maybe we have another project on the horizon in a different city with new friends. Um, and <laughs> will it end as cataclysmically? I mean, you with know, this what crew, yes. I mean, statistically, I can't say that we won't, but we'll try to start off like good citizens. Um, <clears throat> so not much I could really say about that. Pretty. Um, um, if you want to keep up with us, we are at Facts of Gods on Instagram and Twitter. Um, next week could be a little iffy. We'll, we'll figure it out, but we'll keep you posted on our socials. Um, thank you guys for being here. We appreciate it. And we love telling you a story and we'll see you next time. Same time, same place, Mondays at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And we will see you guys then. Good night. Thanks for joining us, cultists.